hello everyone uh, welcome to the second part of this uh, series which is about building mobile robot in gazebo and controlling it so uh, in the last video we saw how to build a differential drive robot uh, uh, if you recall uh, we built this robot uh, we built various parts of it by creating links joints and uh, assigning attributes like color, uh, mass, inertia and things like that. So today uh, the robot is built but uh, you know uh, how to move it you know uh, we need to uh, move these uh, robot. So uh, for this we will have to connect gazebo to ROS using gazebo plugins. So there are different kinds of plugins are there, uh, there are world plugins and that describe the dynamic changes to the world like illumination gravity inserting models like that then there are called model plugins um, so that you know we can provide manipulation of models you know moving their body they called model uh, plugin then the sensor plugin that means we can add sensor to the robot like camera laser scanner etc and then a system plugin that are loaded by GUI like saving images things like that. So uh, we'll create a model plugin uh, in our uh, you know gazebo file skboard.gazebo. So what we do is that we add this tag okay plugin plugin name is gazebo ROS control and leave gazebo ROS control dot so. So this is something we um, include into our gazebo dot gazebo file skboard dot gazebo so that it can interact with ROS okay and we define the robot namespace as skboard uh, this one now uh, um, to use this plugin some additional configurations are required and uh, these are defined in the uh, package called skboard control which we created in the beginning so we'll see how it uh, happens. So what you do is that within the SK board control you create a folder called config and within config you create a file called SK board control dot uh, yml. So it contains this information basically it contains uh, two controllers one for the left wheel another for the right wheel and PID parameters. Okay and uh, it tells you that it publishes the joint uh, states uh, at a rate of 50. So the, this file is created. Now you create a folder called launch within skboard control and create skboard underscore control dot launch. So the content will uh, um, describe in the next slide. Um, and then once this file is created uh, this is now included in the launch file skboard world dot launch if you remember this is our uh, file which is loaded with gazebo so in that file uh, we include this line that says uh, include file so if we just highlight it it says um, the uh, launch file that is created within the launch folder is included here okay uh, so now in the next slide we see the content of skboard control dot launch so what you can see is that first it loads the uh, skboard control dot yml file which is a parameter file for the controller and then it defines various control parameters you know for the left and right wheel and then you know um, converts this uh, you know state information into uh, 3d transformations in the real world uh, that means it you know uh, joint state convert joint states into tf transform so this is something required by rvs uh, for uh, updating the position of the robot so yeah in order to make these changes make sure that uh, you use the right variable here uh, okay so this is how oh, the skboard control dot launch file looks like now once you have done this 
now we'll run this command so we go back to our this one we go to cd catkin we'll just examine these files uh, now we are not going to write all of them but at least we'll see uh, the organization uh, and how they look like so uh, cd src before to source double setup dot bash and if I do other uh, raw cd escape out control so in that folder now inside this let us see the config folder first and gvim escape out control dot yml so as you can see uh, it has two parts one is for publishing joint states and others for you know PID controller for both the wheels left and right okay so this we saw then we go back to the launch file launch folder and see escape out control dot launch uh, you can see that in the first line it loads the uh, control parameters present in the config folder and uh, you know so the second part is you know it converts the joint states into tf transforms it is something required uh, for updating the uh, joint states in uh, applications like rvis okay and uh, it finds a robot from uh, this place you know this is our robot the sk bot zacro uh, is there so uh, the control also requires the robot on which it has to apply and the joint states are now remap to sk bot joint states okay these are the changes we make and uh, then if we uh, see go to raw cd escape out gazebo and uh, cd launch and gvim escape dot world dot launch if we see uh, so uh, gvim sk bot we will still use the world 2 dot launch because the other one has much more details which we do not need at this point so um, you see this is the line the last line will uncomment that activate the controller so you can see uh, it loads the sk bot control dot launch file which is mentioned in the uh, this one because this is the main launch file that is used by uh, gazebo so once we do this all these changes uh, we go back to our three okay so what we do in the one folder ross launch skboard gazebo skboard world dot launch this is a uh, this is how we launch the gazebo world there was some error somewhere sorry control c it loads a different world which will launch world 2 dot launch not the original world yeah giving an error in the beginning saying okay it is uh, uh, we the log file is becoming too big so I should use ROS clean and uh, let me do that before I go come back here let's see I never used the ROS clean command earlier so hopefully nothing goes wrong clean ross clean purge yes okay now I yeah of 
course now it is not giving any more error okay so and this is how our um, robot looks like okay it is also showing a sensor uh, which we haven't discussed yet that means we still have to change something So if we go to uh, CD catkin C A source double setup dot bash ROS CD SK bot description the laser sensor is appearing uh, because it is mentioned in the URDF file Z Vim SK bot Zacro. So the sensor part we haven't covered yet. So for the time being what we will do will comment this part also we don't need to have cameras so this one also will uh, remove okay Now we'll also make some changes to the keyboard the gazebo. Uh, yes, this part. will remove the camera part as well it doesn't matter even if you have them but uh, no, we haven't covered it yet so we'll for the timing we'll just comment it out So um, just to recap here, uh, this is what we include that allows uh, Gazebo to interact with ROS. So this part is included in the Gazebo and uh, from the earlier session we uh, understand about this part, this is the chassis, this is the caster wheel, the information about the uh, uh, left and right wheels are included in the macro uh, that is they are uh, mentioned in the sacro file as the uh, wheel so these things we have already uh, seen it so now if we relaunch our sk board underscore world so now we see our original robot without camera without sensors okay Okay, this is our robot. Now what? So in one terminal we launch this gazebo world, and then we can uh, in the another terminal. Let's say we want to see CD catkin. This source devil setup dot bash. So if we want to see raw topic list. So you can see that we have this SK board left effort controller command 
and I skip out right wheel effort controller command. So that means we can give a motion command separately to each of these wheels, left and right wheels. Okay, and uh, then escape out joint states is another one that is being published. So, okay, these three are relevant at this point. Uh, so, if we now uh, give this command rouse topic pub and once we just give the command once, then SK bot left wheel controller command and this is of type standard messages floor 64 it just takes a, a scalar value and we call it data uh, you can also before we do this you can also see uh, ROS topic uh, ROS message ROS topic uh, help so ROS topic if I type info sk bot uh, left wheel you want to get more information about it so it says that it uses a standard message uh, and float that means it's a scalar value for the this one so if i raw topic type sk bot left wheel so same information I get you know you can use info command or the type command to get this uh, this one so now if I want to know uh, more information about this message then I can use the command ROS msg show standard message uh, float 64 oh sorry float 64 it's simply a float 64 is the type and the uh, name of that message is data so we'll have to provide this to data so we now complete have complete information about the type of data we can publish so we can type now trust topic publish minus one that means only once then escape board left wheel command then uh, mention the standard messages type of data that we want to publish so this is the data field data and we give a value called 1.0 um, before we give this let's put it on the screen <coughs> the top of so that we can see what is happening to this always on top so if I give this command you see the left wheel is moving and you know right wheel is also moving because of that so probably you will have to give the same command to the right wheel as well uh, instead of this you just make it right wheel and should same thing will happen now what is happening that the robot is disappearing you know if we it has gone gone out there is no control on that okay it goes out of the view fine so you can also see the uh, raw topic sk bot uh, echo raw topic echo sk bot joint states so you can constantly see the you know wheel position and velocity all these things you can see here all right so we will close this gazebo window because uh, we do not know where our robot has gone okay so uh, rather than controlling the individual wheels uh, it is more convenient to you know um, use a single command uh, to control both the wheels that is why we will use another plugin called differential drive plugin so for that uh, just copy this content into the gazebo reference file so we'll just see that file so 
so raw cd uh, now we already are in the right place in the urdf folder and we'll see the escapebot.gazebo and here if you see here So we can remove this part, this is no longer required. You can keep it as well, it makes no difference. That means you have both the uh, controllers available to you. So we'll leave it as it is because it really doesn't make a much difference. Um, so what you can see is we are including a plugin name called differential drive controller and it requires a, this particular library to uh, interact with the ROS. This this also helps uh, Gazebo interact with ROS here. So what is uh, worth noting is that you know the command velocity now will be given to this particular topic. See Zekibot Eskibot slash CMD underscore well, and its position is available under odometry here. So these things are important, and it is also important to specify the robot based frame, which is chassis for us okay so remaining things we keep commented now okay now what we do um, we start the uh, our gazebo world again Well, robot is at origin of the environment. And in another terminal, we run ROS run turtle bot. Uh, run total bot teleop okay total sim teleop okay total sim total bot total teleop total teleop and total one CMD well is now mapped to SK board CMD well okay so if I give this command So you see I am able to use arrow keys, uh, the friction is less and that is the reason why uh, it is responding so fast. So so I can move forward, this move backward, this is forward, I, I am using the reverse command to apply a break, so I, I, this is the left this is right the friction is less and that is why it's responding too fast mm. 
Uh, I don't know where it has gone. So if we apply, oh sorry. Oh, oh, we'll apply this. Ah, it's now we apply the reverse. So anyway, so this is how you can. Uh, control our robot so okay all right uh, now we'll see how we'll visualize this robot using our ways for this what we'll do is that we'll create a folder uh, um, called launch inside the sk board underscore description Okay, so we'll create this folder launch and then we'll create a file called skboardrvich.launch. So in this one, we'll add the container as shown in the right. That means it shows, uh, so basically uh, it loads the uh, robot skboard zacro, all right, and then it creates a fake um, joint, um, a fake node named called joint state publisher and that um, publishes the joint state values and then um, you know and this joint states is used by rvis and then it loads the rvis um, as a node itself all right so uh, so nothing much to you know uh, nothing complicated here so what you see that we load the robot we just create a fake node called joint publisher just so that the uh, the the joint states are passed on to the rvis and then we start a uh, rvis node itself uh, once we do that then we can uh, give this command called ross node this one so let's see uh, so we'll see now um, uh, raw cd sk board description and if we see the launch file so you have sk board rvich dot launch so as you can see uh, the first one is a robot description which loads the sk board dot zacro file this is our robot that contains all the information second one is uh, you know sends out the fake joint values and this um, uh, this you know this publishes the joint values to the rvis and then we uh, start this uh, rvis file it is also possible to uh, load a pre-saved rvis file for the timing we will comment it out we'll talk about how to do that in a minute for the time being we just load the rvis as a node uh, that means rather than starting the rvis from the command line uh, this launch file uh, does that it starts the rvis so let's see how it works now once we have done this uh, in the first one we run this gazebo one it on top in 
another one um you know just to uh, tell you one thing is that i have uh, different workspace here in this quatkin workspace uh, i have installed the turtlebot packages uh, myself so i am using ross melodic on ubuntu 18.04 uh, which does not contain the default turtlebot packages so uh, i had to download them compile them uh, in this particular workspace folder and that is why i moved from uh, ws3 to uh, you know this catkin workspace 3 to catkin workspace uh, this one um, because it contains those turtle board packages so um, i can uh, go back to my original one and if i now launch source double setup dot bash now ROS it is not even required because um, both the workspace contain the SK board package so it, it will not make much difference but uh, we'll stick the, with this one so ROS launch SK board description then SK board rwich dot launch okay Uh, okay so it will look something like this uh, now we'll have to uh, make some changes for example you want to ro uh, show the robot position so we'll say uh, sk bot autumn we'll choose here all right then the error with the global frame uh, goes away and and then we'll add robot model add robot model so you can see the robot is in the uh, view and now uh, we can directly publish so always on top We also put the gazer on here so that we can see them simultaneously and it says that we can directly publish uh, this command the raw topic directly we can publish the messages uh, this one so if we do this so cd cat can uh, source devil setup dot bash so now ROS topic publish SK bot now you can see first what are the topics available ROS topic, topic uh, uh, ROS topic list ROS topic list if you do you can see that we already had this SK bot left and right controller which we are not going to use but in addition we have this SK bot CMD well okay and um, this is what we are uh, going to publish our data on so we can do ROS topic publish SK bot command well it uses geometry message type twist type and then we give the data linear so its data type is linear we copy this part because uh, typing so many control C hopefully it will work so V So if we do that, 
you can see uh, our robot is uh, moving in a circular directions okay so we have given a angular velocity a, 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 a angular velocity of 0.1 radian per second around the z axis and the linear velocity of 0.2 so it uh, moves in a circular trajectory as we can see uh, in this to the thing so okay so so this is how we can control the motion uh, just to get a better understanding of what the message type looks like you know while it is rotating around okay so if we do uh, Last topic type SK bot CMD well. So it is of type geometry message uh, twist. Now you can see how what is the uh, format or what is the template for um, this type messages. So geometry show geometry twist. Okay, so it shows that it has six components. Linear has these three, and the angular has three, and that is why we need to provide in this particular format for each field, uh, each data type. You have to give a value. All right, so. Um, We saw that. Now, uh, so you you can see now uh, the links between you know the connection between the different nodes and topics using the RQT graph. Let's do that as well. If we run RQT graph. all so you can see that um, there is a joint state publisher which publisher to joint states and which is subscribed by the robot state pol publisher uh, you know this top one is used by the rvs you know this is required for the tf and which is used by rvs so this require that is why it requires this joint state uh, publisher okay and the uh, this velocity command is given from the command line using this particular node uh, ROS topic this one and it gives the velocity to this topic SK board CMD well and this is used by gazebo and uh, uh, you know these both the values um, are used by RVs to update the robot position so this is how it looks like okay so this we already explained fine and if you want to um, see the uh, you know transformations the geometrical transformations between different parts of the robot so we can run this command called ROS run TF view frames. Let us see uh, we, if we run this command ROS run TF view frames. So it creates a file for uh, called view frames dot PDF now uh, frames dot PDF and you see it generates a file called frames dot PDF. So now we can see events frames dot PDF and if you see that Alright, what you can do is that uh, SK board odd, uh, is the odometry position that we are reading. Uh, it is itself a topic, and you can get the position from here, and uh, and it gets information from the chassis, which is the base frame, and chassis is linked to other components like caster wheels, okay, and the left wheel and right wheel, okay, 
and um, the ASCII port autom is used by you know you know broadcasted by Gazebo. Gazebo is a node that uses this information. Uh, anything else? Yeah. So this is shows the how the you know the entire robot is assembled. So it shows the geometrical transformations of all these things. Okay. Now uh, I want to see one thing. There is off topic list. You see the uh, escape boat autumn is the uh, position of the robot. If I now off topic eco escape boat autumn, if I do, so you see the robots uh, the li uh, linear and angular positions are changing constantly. X, Y is changing, Z is not changing, and uh, here. Uh, the angle around the z axis is changing so the uh, this gives you the robot position okay control c okay so um, to summarize this um, we we saw in this particular uh, video uh, how to you know uh, make use of gazebo plugins to make uh, your robot move uh, in gazebo and then visualize them uh, in rv's window uh, so thank you for your uh, time um, so we'll be back with the next module where we'll talk about how do we add sensors to our mobile robot until that time uh, goodbye